What up, Internet? This is Chris coming at you from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. You're about to watch one of my math videos. And the cool thing about my math videos is that you can see me, I can talk to you, and I can write on my whiteboard all at the same time. And the even cooler thing is, is that this can be done live, one-on-one, -on -one, with my computer and your computer. There's no software required for you to download. The only thing that you need is an Internet connection. Everything that's on my screen, you can also see on your screen. Uh, this is just like having someone come to your house. So if you need any extra help for any math topic that's not covered in this video, I would love to help. So please email me at chris at mathmeaning.com. Once again, chris at mathmeaning.com. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy my videos and take care. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to factor polynomials by pulling out the greatest common factor. And this is a very common method of factoring. Um, so it's really important that you actually know what you're doing when you factor polynomials by pulling out the greatest common factor. And in order to explain that to you, uh, I'm going to show you what we're actually doing before we get started with the examples. Um, so notice in this example, 2 multiplied by x plus 5, if you distribute this, and if you're already learning how to factor in algebra, you probably already know how to distribute. So if you distribute this 2 with the x plus 5, then you multiply the 2 times the x, and you get 2x. And you multiply the 2 times the 5, and you get a positive 10. Now, when we're actually factoring by pulling out the greatest common factor, we're actually doing exactly the opposite of distributing. We're starting with an expression uh, that looks like this. And then by factoring, we're going to end with a result that looks like this. And this will all make a lot more sense once we get started with the example. And so let's get started right away. So I'm just going to use the same example so it's easier for you guys to see what we're actually doing when we factor the polynomials. So as I wrote for the steps for you on the side, uh, the step one uh, for factoring polynomials is to pull out the greatest common factor outside of the parentheses. So we have two terms. We have a 2x term, and we also have a positive 10 term. Um, if you notice, what we have in common with these two terms is that they both have a positive 2 in common. And that is the greatest common factor that these two terms have in common. So that is our first step, is to pull out the GCF outside of the parentheses. Uh, the GCF, by the way, is the greatest common factor, if you didn't know that. Um, and the 2x and the positive 10, the greatest common factor that they have in common is a 2. And if you don't know how to find the greatest common factor, um, there is another video, which I will be putting out soon, that will teach you how to find the greatest common factor um, of two terms. So step number one, is pull the greatest common factor outside of the parentheses. And step number two, rewrite what's left of each term inside the parentheses. And sometimes it's hard to see what's left of each term. So an easy way for me to realize what's left of each, of each term is, by, is dividing both of the terms by the greatest common factor. So if you notice in the first term that if you divide the 2x by the 2, the 2s cancel out, and the only thing you're left with is an x. So the first term that you'd write inside the parentheses is an x. Now if you look at the second term, if you divide the 10 by 2, you're left with a positive 5. So inside the parentheses, for the second term, you're left with a positive 5, so you'd write a positive 5 inside the parentheses. Now we have factored the polynomial uh, by pulling out the greatest common factor, and this is our final answer. So let's move on to our next example. We have the example 3xy plus 6x cubed y squared minus 21x squared y. 
And this looks much more complicated than the last example, but the steps remain exactly the same. So our step number one is that we want to pull out the greatest common factor outside of the parentheses. Um, so you notice how the 3xy uh, and the 6x cubed y squared and the 21x squared y, they all have a 3 in common. Um, if you can't really see that, an easy way to see it is um, they all can be divided by 3 evenly. That is, the, that is the biggest number that they can be divided by evenly. Um, so they all have a 3 in common. Um, also, if you notice, the first term has an x, the second term has three x's, and the third term has two x's, so they all have at least one x in common. So not only do they have a three in common, they also have an x in common. And if you notice in the first term as well, they also, it has a y, the second term has two y's, and the third term has a y as well, um, so they all have a y in common as well. So the greatest common factor is actually three, They also have an x in common, and they all have at least one y in common as well. So the greatest common factor for all these three terms is 3xy. Now moving on to step number two is we want to rewrite what's left of each term inside the parentheses. And it's sometimes it's really hard to see what's left of each term, and once again, in order to see that, I'm just going to divide each term by our greatest common factor. So what's left of our first term? We have 3xy divided by 3xy. Everything cancels out. If you ever divide anything by itself, it always equals 1. So the only thing that's left of our first term is 1. Now let's move on to our second term. So what's left of our second term? Notice if you divide the 6 and the 3, you get a positive 2. If you divide the x cubed by x, you just subtract the exponents, so you get an x squared. And if you divide the y squared by y, once again you subtract the exponents, you just get a positive y. Now we just have to rewrite what's left of our last term. So notice, if you divide negative 21 by 3, you get negative 7. If you divide x squared by x, once again, you just subtract the exponents. You're just left with x. And the y's just cancel each other out. Now we have factored this expression by pulling out the greatest common factor. Uh, I hope this video uh, helped you understand factoring just a little bit better. Um, if you need any extra help with factoring or any other topic in algebra, please uh, just send me an email, and I would love to give you live help. Uh, also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my style of teaching. Um, once again, I hope you enjoyed my video, and take care.